Welcome back to Main Street Living. Danielle Quincy, New Year's Day often brings big hopes and resolutions of things we're going to do better and different in the coming year. And often those lofty goals center around getting healthy or losing weight or maybe eating better, right? Yeah, but this January, doesn't it feel a little bit different? It kind of seems like we're being a little easier on ourselves and maybe just aren't up for a great big resolution this year that maybe we can't keep. So to talk about all of that, fitness instructor Angie Abercrombie is back with some tips for easing into better health this year. Please welcome back, Angie, to Main Street Living. Angie, thanks so much for making the time for us. Hi, friends. So good to see you again. Happy New Year. Likewise. So Angie. I mean, it's it's the best time of year, especially if you're trying to get back in shape, but also because it's NFL playoffs right now. And I know that you're a big fan of this. <laughs> For you, baby. Go Cowboys, right. <laughs> big Texas. Dallas is all the buzz right now. So hopefully we can pull a win. Yeah. Oh, you know, I look at it like this. Um, by the time this episode airs, either we'll be upset <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if we still have Cowboys to talk about, hopefully. (laughs) I hope so, too. (laughs) Speaking of new, let's talk about fitness and health and ways to avoid the burnout. I can tell you right now that small choices along the way add up. Little minor choices, it's the only way to avoid burnout. If you just gusto right away, like, like we said earlier, sometimes the gyms are empty in February. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know that a lot of people I know love to go to the gym. And so when January rolls around, they're like, oh, all the people are back in here now. Who are all these people? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, well, so yeah. what kind of changes do we need to make huge changes? Right. Or what kind of are those small adjustments you were talking about? What are some of those small ones? Well, it's sometimes it's not even just about getting back in the gym. It can be about your nutrition. Right. Mm -hmm. And just little adjustments in terms of, you know, I'm a Texas girl. I like my Tex-Mex. And I know many people do just taking the chips out out of the chips and salsa and doing corn tortillas. Again, it's a small adjustment, no dressing, dressing on the side, sauces on the side, just little bitty, small, even water, for instance. Okay. I know we get tired of drinking water, but if you can drink water and substitute that instead of the sugary orange juice or cranberry juice, just simple adjustments add up. And we all know this after four weeks, it becomes a habit. Well, that's that's what we hope. See, I keep going into this cycle, right? I'll start it and then something will happen. And then some someone will, will, will say, well, Quincy, abs are made in the kitchen. And I'm like, I don't want to work out in the kitchen, right? <laughs> so I'm looking at everything else. So what about the exercise part? Because you, you, you were talking about the diet part. Right. So exercise, you know, not everybody is just completely into it. But I can tell you that even if you just have, you set small goals for yourself, just walk a block, walk two blocks, take the stairs. Maybe even if you're just in your house and you're still working from home, you just set a timer, use technology as your friend, you know, set a timer, get up, work your stairs a couple of times, just small adjustments really can add up. They can add to calorie deficit and um, just, you know, heart conditioning. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And it's more than just about obviously our weight and things like that. We know the health, it's also goes hand in hand with wellness. Both are so important. Do you have suggestions for simple ways to just improve our overall well-being this year? I do. And it usually starts with water, right? Just water. I actually started a gallon challenge in November for myself because a client of mine brought this giant gallon jug. I was like, what is that? And the truth is it have really has become a habit. Um, I feel like just everybody needs a little bit of encouragement as well, right? So even if you are just not super motivated, find a tribe, a community of people that are on your side, a Mm -hmm. personal trainer, accountability group, right? Um, I know for me in this gym, uh, whether it's of my virtual training or people in here, they just want guidance, right? Don't we crave that sometimes? I think it's just so much better when you have a partner or a group of people. So find a way to get engaged. So important to have a support system. I feel like we're more more successful when we have someone in the gym next to us. 
Yeah. True. True. You know, and when it comes to being next to other people right now, a lot of people are sick, right? You know, some with a uh, Omicron, uh, some with just a common cold. So what's your advice, Angie, for exercising while you're sick? Should we push through it or should we, you know, not really get into those workouts? It's a great question. And right. You know, it's it's everything is ramping up. So when you are sick, your body is technically under stress. When you exercise, you're putting your body under stress. So the truth is, listen to your body. Really, you, you don't need to exercise. The What you can do the best for your body is rest and feed it. Feed it good food like the hearty, um, rich, uh, iron-rich vegetables, baked potatoes, chicken noodle soup. You know, mm -hmm. listen to your body. Take a warm bath, Epsom salts. Don't push yourself and exercise. That, that'll that just create more illness. That's good advice. Yeah. yeah, and I love the idea of using your food as your medicine, especially, and just and really just trying to feed your body good things. Yes, eat your vitamins. I mean, yeah. in terms of, you know, through your food, through vegetables. <laughs> through, through uh, take your vitamins, eat your vitamins. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, Angie, you have so many great tips. Where can our viewers find more information from you? Thank you so much. I would love for y'all to join me, anybody and everybody. I train women and men all over the United States. AbercrombieandFitness.com, that's a way to get hooked into my virtual trainings or just have a look at my blog, my fit tips, recipes. It's all there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Angie, for stopping by. I see you got the biceps going. I like that. I'm trying to get like you, Angie. My goodness. <laughs> Stop it. Go Cowboys. Thank you so go much. Go Cowboys. There we go. Thanks again, Angie. All right. Well, Danielle, uh, we're just scratching the surface when it comes to health and wellness in 2022. And up next, we're going to continue making it a year of self-care. So we'll be right back. Stay right there.